To start our presentation off, we're sharing you this video to give some background information about our topic. Most women love to shop, but did you know that female shoppers get charged more at the register than men? New York City Department of Consumer Affairs recently did a study that revealed across all the industries that were surveyed, women paid more 42% of the time for identical or similar products than those marketed to men. Good afternoon, my name is Nathan Schechter. I'm Anna Kornarez. Rima Wilkerson. I'm Lucas Correa, and today our presentation is about pink tax, which is the extra amount of eating extra amount of money women pay when buying certain services or products without having any general benefits. So our presentation is starting to answer the question, to what extent does the pink tax promote gender inequality in the 21st century? In the 21st century, the pink tax has negatively impacted women's economical power and increased gender inequality. Gender is a social construct that roots back to centuries before women were seen as the second gender to men. People do not naturally act like a boy or act like a girl. They are taught how to behave and think by adults, media, and peers surrounding them. American women have been seen as subordinate to the American men image. However, this phenomenon of inequality roots back to centuries before the United States was even created. If we take a look back at primitive times, it was known that self-defense was crucial for survival. So as men went out and seeked for that As men went out to seek for that defense and survival, women seeked for their protection. Women's major role was to become impregnated and look after <coughs> their newborns. This initiated the wrongful image that females are seen as weak, infirm, and fragile. This has led a stereotype over the progressing years that men overpower women for that very reason. Historical influences have brought a huge impact on the way society views females so much so that it is consistently spreading to affect women in every aspect, specifically bringing to the world what we now know as the pink tax. As time went by, the issue Anna talked about of women facing minority group problems still stands today. Women get caught in this web of the pink tax because they feel the need to fit in the status quo. These are the different factors that lead to a consumer's intention when it comes to buying a product. Mo most of them come from perceived social media marketing, which means that social media will have a huge impact on people's perspective of a product. Added to this, subjective norm is referring to when, a, when someone values an opinion of an important person <coughs> or group. When it concerning a purchase and whether or not they'll approve. This value is also emphasized in this pie chart over here. The green and the purple stand for popular products and celebrity endorsing. These are both motivations based on others and through these motivations, society can easily encourage women to face, uh, to buy, to buy higher priced products marketed for females only. As you can see on the graph, there is a huge difference between basic toiletries such as soap and shampoo. For instance, almost all women's shampoo has a gendered price. The same gendered price is shown with deodorants with having a 90.6% gendered price. This means that 90.6% of women's deodorants are higher in price than men's deodorants when they do the same thing. On the second graph, it shows the men's and women's prices and the percentiles separating them. As you can see, <laughs> razors, uh, there's an 18% pink tax. This means that the price is 18% higher than a men's razor when they do the same thing. Further on my point, products that men and women buy are taxed. Women's healthcare products such as tampons and pads should not be in the sales tax as they are necessities for women's health and cleanliness. As you can see on this graph, most of the United States has tampons being taxed rather than them not being taxed. 
why can why can companies still use the pen tax to pr price products higher for m females and males, even though the public is very aware of ex its existence? So to do this, we gotta look at the consumer's perspective and see the marketing strategies that the companies are using to pursue them to buy the more expensive product. So looking at two races, uh, races being sold at Amazon, both of them have the same purpose and it had the same, uh, same effectiveness. So the answer which one should you buy should be very easy. The one that's cheaper. However, the use of pink on the casing by the, by the companies is very smart. Pink is a color more related to women because social norms say that women should use pink while ma males should use green or blue. And as Rima said, women want to fit on the social quo and that causes women to buy the pink ones even though it's more expensive. Companies may also use other tactics like using the fruits on the dough product, including the pink casing. The, the fruits may give the idea that it's fresh and used, which is also something that's on the social norm for women, causing them to be more likely to buy it. Additionally, women are also more likely to be able to, or more likely to pay extra for products even though they have no benefits. If you look at the two two t-shirts on this picture so it's being sold, the two shirts have basically the same color and basically the same design. However, the women one is way more expensive. And this happens because women are have way more are way higher in the social status by the social norms. This causes them to be forced to buy the more expensive one because they do not want to be judged for using men's products. Now that we have gone over the ongoing issue of the pink tax, let's talk about the solutions that the team came up with. Government intervention. The government could create new laws that allow the restriction of economic inequality upheld by companies. By there being a monitor watch on pricings, it could diminish the chances of economic inequality presenting itself in any nearby stores or companies. It would be challenging to bring an end to the pink tax because of the limitations presented. First, there would be company complaints, which would be an overload of negative responses to deal with. Next, there w next we would need a workforce to regulate and monitor the companies and their products. We would also need high amounts of money to pay that workforce and to manage it. Another solution we came up with was to change the social norms that are being imprinted on the youth. Like Lucas said, many social norms are abused by companies to persuade their customers. Using, like Lucas said, fruits and pink coloring for women's products and charging more for those products should be changed as it is against regular social norms. However, changing social norms is not as easy as it looks. Not only would it take a long time to the change happen because the only way to change social norms is to implement the new norms into the education system. This would mean the changes would only happen when the new generation that's still studying go, grows up and become the new company leaders creating the, new, the change. Additionally, people may not want to change the norms. Like Anna mentioned, we, the norms have been the same for years and years, since even before the United States been. The norms that women should be weaker than men or that when men should overpower women have been there for years. And then changing the, that could be very hard. And even if you implement it to the education system and when the new generation grows up, their parents or other people in the society might tell them the old norms, which might be more beneficial to them, causing the change to not happen at all and the time being wasted. This is the work cited. Thank you very much. Any questions? Um, Nathan, we'll start with you. Nathan, if you had another team member, what perspective or limitations could they have reached that would have made a useful contribution to the project? If we had another team member, we would explore the mental health aspect of the pink tax. Using, using the, the new group member, we would see how the pink tax affects women's mental health and how they are reactive to that mental health. Okay. <clears throat> Anna, Anna. Give one specific way that you think, excuse me, give one specific way that your thinking changed as a result of Rima's findings. 
because of Rima's findings, my perspective changed because of the extent of time. Since mine was historical influences, that was centuries ago when Romans uh, were first. Can I start over? Yeah, go ahead. Um, can you repeat the question, please? Sure. So just give me a way that your thinking changed as a result of her findings. Okay. My thinking changed because Rima's findings on social norms and how this ongoing problem is still um, extending since the times of the Romans when this uh, stereotype was created. Uh, it, yeah. <laughs> okay, flex. Next up. Lucas, describe an argument from one of your peers' individual reports that makes you think differently about the team's solution or conclusion. So uh, we had two solutions, one being the government intervention and the other being changing social norms. Looking at Anna's perspective, in which social norms have been distinct from the past, since very long ago, that made me think, because initially, on my own RRR and research, I only thought the only solution was the government intervention. However, in looking at her research, since the social norms have been the same for so long. Changes of society happen, and changes to the social norms may need to happen as well. All right, last up. Rima, how did the group decide to include Nathan's perspective into your overall presentation? We were, when we were trying to figure out which perspectives to put into this uh, presentation and like where we would put them, we thought that Nathan's would go best at around the end because his perspective talks about the economic and and um, the economic reasons and uh, economic side of the pink tax, um, which is what the pink tax is mostly about. So 